When we decided to develop the True Magnum Adventure Rifle, our goal was to create a hardcore long-range hunting weapon that was practical in almost any kind of a hunting environment, whether overseas or here at home. And we put together the combination of, uh, of components to create that rifle. And then it came time for caliber selection. And that created a whole bunch of additional questions for all of the different places that we go. And we're gonna address some of those today, especially as respects our new caliber, the 6.5 PRC, and why we chose it. The first thing I wanna talk about in caliber selection is travel. And right away, I have to say that if you're going to a place like Russia or Tajikistan or some foreign country where ammo availability is an issue, uh, you're, you need to limit your choices to that which will be available in the place that you go. That's where the 300 Win Mag wins, the 7 millimeter Remington Mag wins, uh, cartridges that are going to be available if and when your ammunition doesn't arrive with you. But in all those other instances, like when we're traveling out in the western United States or arranging a hunt in Canada, um, let's face it, this may not be the ultimate uh, uh, or the ideally suited cartridge for a tur hunt in Russia, it's just that I have to use that because that's what's available if I need ammo. When we're talking about these other hunts in the western U.S., western Canada, maybe Mexico, um, things change. Now we can actually go to a cartridge that is actually more ideally suited for the type of hunt that we're going on. And when we started looking at ideally suited uh, cartridges for a variety of animals like what we hunt worldwide and in North America, the 6.5 Creedmoor is uh, the one that really popped out at us. So when we were looking for that specialized caliber for the True Magnum Adventure Rifle and we knew we could pick whatever we wanted when the travel restrictions aren't a problem, um, you know, obviously the first thing you do is, you know, we're, we're talking about uh, opening up the envelope of, of range for hunting in practical situations in a lightweight rifle, not in a 10, 12 pound rifle that'll shoot 1200 yards, but you just can't hunt with it. This was a, a, a different project. So, we first started looking at the long range shooting and, and what they were using. The 6.5 Creedmoor immediately came out. Love that caliber, it's an excellent caliber, but I was just a little bit concerned that it didn't give us the margin of error. You know, when, when the long range shooters are shooting, they're, you know, they're punching a hole in paper. When we're shooting at longer distances, five, six, seven hundred yards, we have an animal at the other end and our responsibility is to try to do a one shot, clean, ethical kill. In, a, in a, an environment that is not fully controlled and that you don't always have all day long to do a lot of calculations, okay? So we wanted more margin of error than the 6.5 Creedmoor could give us. Uh, so we started looking further and then we found the 6.5 PRC. So when we start doing the technical analysis of these three popular cartridges like the 6.5 Creedmoor, 6.5 PRC, and then the 300 Win Mag, and we print the tables and just, just so you know, you know, I've heard a lot of things on blogs where they'll say, well, yeah, but you can push this one, you know, use this powder and get this velocity and a little more powder and get this. It, th that's true. You can make one of these calibers, if you want to tinker, feel like another one of these calibers or close or different. But uh, for our purposes, we needed a baseline. So I used the same uh, Hornady ballistics calculator on each of actually four different calibers. Uh, used all the same uh, environmental factors. I used 7,000 foot elevation on each of these. Um, I used 143 grain ELDX in the Creedmoor, 143 grain ELDX in the PRC, and uh, 180 grain on the 300 Win Mag, 165 grain on the short mag. Now, what I was the most impressed with as we started looking at the 6.5 PRC was I didn't realize how that efficient high ballistic uh, coefficient bullet would, uh, would affect the energy and trajectory downrange. I did not expect the 6.5 PRC to be even close to my 300 Win Mag when we started talking about energy out to 700, 800, 900, and even 1,000 yards. I expected my 300 Win Mag to blow it away, to be honest, and here's what I found. Assuming that 1,500 is a good, reasonable, responsible, ethical amount of energy to, to, to assume for an elk, and assuming that uh, 12 to 13 
is reasonable for mountain critters. The 6.5 Creedmoor stops killing elk after 500 yards, responsibly and ethically. And the uh, mountain critters, maybe about 700, and 700, 750 yards, it stops killing them efficiently and cleanly and ethically. 6.5 PRC, on the other hand, and the 300 Win Mag and the 300 Short all seem to come together at about 1,000 yards. So the 6.5 PRC is still killing elk out to 800 yards. It's still killing mountain critters out to 1,000 yards. The 300 Win Mag is slightly better where it's still carrying enough energy to kill elk at 900 yards and mountain critters at 1,000 or a little over. So very, very close to the same. Now, what does that mean for me when I've spent, I don't know, most of my life uh, hunting a lot with this cartridge and have shot almost all of the, the North American species with that one? And then you realize that you're carrying that much more ammo up the mountain, that much more rifle up the mountain, enduring that much more uh, felt recoil at every shot, losing your animal from the scope at every shot, and you can get almost similar, almost identical trajectory at a thousand yards, and almost identical energy at a thousand yards. Um, you have to consider this cartridge, and we did consider it, and that is why we decided to put that in the True Magnum Adventure Rifle. At True Magnum, we always say that you should practice for long, but hunt for short. And what we're talking about there is, is uh, shooting distances. Uh, if you can get confident with a weapon and ammo co combination where you can shoot comfortably at longer distances, like 600, 700, 800 yards at a bench, um, then in a hunting environment, you are going to be a better shot at 400 yards. That's going to become a chip shot to you. So we really believe in being proficient to long distances, but hunting hard and stalking better and stalking in closer to try to get that two, three, four, 500 yard shot. There are instances though um, when that can't happen and you can get in an environment where uh, you can take a longer shot and having the equipment that allows you to do that with a great margin of error is important. And we think the 6.5 PRC is exceptional for that in that it can accomplish the shot farther than I can accomplish the shot. No doubt about that. Between the True Magnum Adventure Rifle and the 6.5 PRC in it, that combination is a better shot than I'll ever be. Um, but it allows me a platform to work on shooting distances out to 1,000 yards and then only taking the hunting shot distances that I feel ethically and responsibly able to take given the environment I'm in at the moment. So in summary, we are very excited to announce that we have decided to also offer the True Magnum Adventure Rifle in 6.5 PRC and the reasons are actually quite simple. First of all, the 300 Win Mag, unless you're going to an area where ammo availability is an issue, is simply overkill for a lot of species. And over here, with the 6.5 Creedmoor, to be honest, we built the True Magnum Adventure Rifle to outperform that caliber. So there sits the 6.5 PRC. With its flat trajectory, light felt recoil, an absolute pleasure to shoot, and exceptional energy downrange, we feel like this is going to be the bomb in the True Magnum Adventure Rifle.